Here I'm showing you a little comparison between the two. On the left is before and on the right is after the fix. Before the fix, my Steam Deck was locked at 11 watts. My GPU usage was always 100%, but then the GPU refused to run higher than 300 MHz. And when I manually set the GPU to 1600, the CPU would throttle to 400. So for actual fix, here a list of what you need. First, you need a Steam Deck. And then you need a Type-C USB hub to connect your keyboard and your USB stick to your Steam Deck. Your keyboard has to be wired or 2.4 GHz because Bluetooth doesn't work when you load into Smokeless UMAF. The USB stick, you can use any cheaper USB stick that you can afford to do a full reformat. The first step is to load the smallest UMAF into your USB stick. Turn on your Steam Deck, press the Steam button, and then go to Power. Then go to Switch to Desktop. Here I'm using a cheapo Type-C to USB hub to connect my USB and my keyboard. Then plug the USB hub into your Steam Deck. Here on the desktop, click on the Steam Start menu. Then go to System. There you see a KDE Partition Manager. I forgot a step here, but you have to set a password for your Steam Deck. Here I set my password at 123, so I input my password and OK. On the left panel, you can see my flash drive. Because I already initialized my flash drive, so here I have to delete my partition. And uh, click on unallocate it and create a new one. On the file system, choose FAT32. Put anything for your label. Here I put smokeless. press OK and then press apply apply again you can see now it shows up So now I go to the file manager, I'll uh, find it at the bottom. And then you will need to download and load the Smugglet's UMAF into your flash drive. I have put the link to the GitHub page uh, in the description below. You need to open your browser on your Steam Deck and um, download the umaapp underscore beta.zip file. Open the zip file and then copy the content of the zip file into your USB stick. Then shut down your Steam Deck and prepare to boot into the Smokelet UMAF. With the Steam Deck shut down, press and hold the volume down button and then press the power button to access the boot menu. Here you can see my EFI USB device. I will choose that. That's what I loaded my smoke lit EMAF into. 
and now we're in the BIOS. Okay, so finally the last step. In the smokeless UMAF menu, go to the device manager, AMD CPS, and then all the way down to SMU debug options. Go to SMU features and then find the um, packet power throttler. Disable that. Then um, just press escape to exit. Then press Y to save and exit. Skip again to go to the main menu. Then go down to continue. Enter. And then enter again to apply the settings. Your system deck will reboot back up again. This is very important. Even though you have disabled the package power file, you have to go into the performance menu of each game and then set the manual GPU clock. Here you can see me setting the GPU clock to 1600 MHz, but only do that when you really need to because it can force the APU to run really hard and may damage your steam deck. The CPU and GPU is now running at about 80 degrees Celsius and sometimes even up to 90 degrees Celsius and force the Steam Deck to shut down. My rule of thumb is to lock the frame rate and then manually control the GPU clock so that the game only uses 70 to 80 percent of the GPU. Here in Bambi Survivor, I can set the GPU clock to 500 MHz and have it run perfectly fine at 40 FPS. So to recap, first you need to load Smoklet UMAF into your USB stick, then boot into the Smoklet UMAF and disable package power follower. Lastly, you have to manually set the GPU clock for each and every game. Good luck and have fun!